Actually, we've been separated for several months. What? So are you separated? Yes, we're separated. This is Sister Wives One-on-One. -on -one. I'm ready for it, Dave. Are you? I'm ready. I'm ready. I have a lot of thoughts, though. I mean, I feel like Christine looks so good and, like, fashionable. What? She's like... Christine. Christine had leather spanks on. I didn't. I did not notice, but she seems happy so far. Mm -hmm. I think Cody got a new hairdo. He's less. He's less Romany. He's got, he's gone for more volume. <laughs> Is that what he's saying? I don't care what he's saying. I'm not being mean. It's true. We married under circumstances that were not romantic. They were for me. They weren't for you. Okay, we can unravel this farther. What is, do you know what she, he's talking about? I He was not, like, into her, I feel like, from the beginning. And I, I, I'm going to read his book. I'm going to read their book. But I think it's something I keep hearing in the comments or reading the comments. It's something like there was a conflict between the other wives, and so Christine was brought in to help as a buffer. Yeah, Mary and Janelle did not get along at all. And so they brought in a third wife, which was Christine. And she had always wanted to be the third wife, which made her, like, the favorite because she was, like, the happy one, the one that he wanted to be around. And then, like, the dynamic changed when Robin came into the picture. It seems like a weird... Like, I wouldn't imagine that if there was conflict between two wives that adding a third would help. Right? But it worked... Initially, it worked. I think for the majority, you know... Despite the fact that he apparently wasn't sexually attracted to her from the beginning? Mm-hmm. Because it's true that I wasn't attracted to you when we got married. I'm not interested in intimate marriage with you anymore. Let's just look at present where we are. Yeah, marriage sucks. Do you want to be married to me? Do you want to Christine, real? do you want to be married to me? Because you're the one that's... The, that shot the first two blows here. No, I feel like he's deflecting. I'm good with that. Nobody's a prisoner here. Don't insult me. Tell me straight up. If you don't want to be married to me anymore, you don't want to have an intimate marriage with me anymore, flip and tell me. It is cowardly. Man the up. It's been worse never. for Mary. You and I have had way more romance. Okay, but notice, did you see him posture? Watch, hold on. Okay, watch when she watch when she says, man the up. You don't want to be married to me anymore. You don't want to have an intimate marriage with me anymore. Flip and tell me. It is cowardly. Man the up. It's been worse never. for Mary. You and I have had way more. Like that, that I think, I think that's a part of him. That's like, that is like a narcissistic injury. Like the, like whenever he, whenever his manhood is questioned, whenever, whenever his, the, the, the reputation, the brand, the ego he's put out there is checked. I think you see him get his back up. Well, I thought it was, she was like, do you want to be married to me? And he was like, do you want to be married to me? Like he like couldn't even answer it straight. <laughs> I, I think that's because he doesn't want to take responsibility for it. Oh, okay. Right? It's, you left me, you know? Mm -hmm. Why would you want me to stay? Because well, I'm supposed to. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't really want to. Because mm. it seems very, very cold. Like a cold thing to say. Not something that a husband would say to his wife. Some of the games that were happening were things like when we moved to Flagstaff, Arizona, I was trying to reconcile with Mary. And Mary gave me this really cool birthday present. And I'm in this place expressing to Janelle, Christine, and Robin that I might reconcile with Mary. And Christine lost her that day. She comes to a family party and leaves, yelling to one of the kids that she was in a loveless marriage. This is two years before she kicks me out. I don't understand what he's even talking about. Why is, what is that relevant to why he was so cold right now? He, he's saying, I, I mean, I don't know. I think he's saying that Christine didn't want him to have any other wife. Like he got, she was mad that like he was on the verge of reconciling with Mary because it would take attention away from her. I think that's what he's saying. But it's a weird, but Suki is saying what in the clip, the way you treated her was cold. And he goes, I thought she was playing a game with me. And then his example of the game was 
not a game. Mm. It was an example. It was an example of Christine feeling like she was in a loveless marriage two years ago. Mm -hmm. So, like the idea that it's a surprise to him that Christine's got a problem with it is odd, right? So he just gave an example of two years ago when Christine said, "I'm in a loveless marriage." Why would you do that? Why would you compare? No husband should ever, ever, ever compare one wife to the other. I think he was saying, like, why can't you just play along like Mary? Mm -hmm. She said, mm -hmm. I have played along for a really long time, and it's, like, hurting my soul. She didn't use those words, but that was... I get it. You know what I mean? Mary and seems she like was she's just getting doing... it. What? Mary seems like she's getting it. I think this must be so... I think this must be so humiliating for her. For Mary? But yeah. If you watch this... I, I mean, my sense is that Cody and Mary don't communicate a whole lot. But if you think about this series, because she's seen this entire series before this tell-all, right? She's seen everything. This mm -hmm. is a, uh, the amount of times that he has gone on camera and said, I don't care for Mary. I mean, it's, it's like almost every episode. It's devastating. She and looks she's so got, sad. Look at her like eyes. Like she has been through it. And then, right? And then you have Christine saying, I don't want that marriage. And, and she's like, yeah, I guess it is a really bad marriage. Like everybody now knows how awful the marriage is as a consequence of Cody's mm -hmm. behavior. Yeah. She does, She does. I don't know if her makeup's different or what, but she does not look happy. She looks so happy. sad. Yeah. yeah. She looks like her eyes, like she's been crying. Not as long as, yeah. as she could. But Mary, has it not hurt your soul? Sure it has. This is the one thing everybody keeps missing here. Yeah. They keep comparing, comparing me and Mary, me and Janelle, me and Robin, me and Christine. They keep comparing all these relationships. Every relationship is, it grows and develops and functions, good or not, on its own merits, on, its, on whatever skill you have to communicate or whatever loving ability or whatever kindness or whatever cruelty or whatever game playing you do will affect your relationship and you can't compare it to these other ones that don't have those same kind of things going on. You ever thought about that? Mm -mm. You have no reaction to that? I got distracted for a minute. Sorry. So I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'll react to it then. What are you, what are you, what are you, what are you distracted with what? Like you're just your day tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's late on Sunday night and we're doing this, so... Allison's got the Sunday scaries. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, what he's saying there, she, she's saying, or he's saying, what everybody's missing is that they're trying to compare my relationship with Janelle, with that of Mary, with that of Robin, with that of Christine. And he's saying, you can't because whatever you bring into your marriage, and he, he's saying, whatever they bring into the marriage creates the marriage, you know, the marriage evolves because of their influence on it. And it's just a remarkable thing that he's like, He's the common denominator amongst the four, and all these marriages are going to shit, and he doesn't see that he's involved, right? No. It's all, it's their, all their individual characteristics have separately destroyed the relationships, and he's kind of the blank canvas. So we're, we are, whatever, we're 10 minutes into this. There's not been an ounce of accountability that he's accepted, so I'm curious to see uh, how this rolls out. His attraction is based on that person's behavior, he has a tendency. Robin Splain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's hear Robin. Robin Splain. That, can I just say that that makes... I, 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 and maybe it's because I'm a guy or maybe because I'm limited in some way. I do not understand the connection that they keep trying to draw between behavior and his attractiveness. The extent to which he's attracted to them. It's a cop-out. It's such a cop-out. The other thing that's really annoying is, like, I'd march his butt into therapy. I was like, Rob that Christine went to therapy. It, it was a couple seasons ago. Robin rehashed that. Okay, she went to therapy with Cody. And, like, I I talk it out. I make sure we talk. And I want to be like, you're so obnoxious. <laughs> do, you th do you think that Cody is genuinely not attracted to Christine, Janelle, and Mary? And that he is genuinely attracted, and just genuinely only attracted to Robin, or do you think he's attracted to the other three, but is withholding sex in an effort to pun to punish them? Yes. Which one? Punish. You think he's punishing? Yeah. How can you not be? Christina's so cute. No, I mean she's. A, I, I mean, I mean she, like she's got a cute personality. I think he's withholding. Like it's a. It was you think a, it's, it's a, a way it's to a pun consequence. It's a punishment. 
passive aggressive. I think he's passive aggressive. And he can, it's not like he has any incentive to work it out. What is what's his incentive to be kind and loving because he he can go get his cup filled somewhere right, else. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's easy to punish them that way yeah. because he has access to somebody else. Do you believe the lack of attraction is an excuse just for your bad behavior, or was it the bad behavior that led to the lack of attraction? I don't know, but that statement just made me mad. Really? <laughs> yes. I'm not a child. Yeah. I'm your wife. You don't talk to me like that. My bad behavior, that's just insulting. Please, I'm an adult. That's just rude and belittling. Yes. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me mad. Yeah. Good for her. She does seem like she's in a good place. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, she seems, she seems, I don't know what, but she, but she was always, I don't know, I guess she's gotten progressively com more confident over the years, but, but I'm happy with her for being able to recognize that and get out. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't want to be a quitter. And she's going, well, you're a coward. Well, no, 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 no. I'm not a coward. Nothing scares me but poverty. Nothing. But as I'm watching all of this, I, okay, so hard, go ahead. It's hard to look at. I feel like it's it's funny. Like last season, I said I don't think he's a narcissist, and then this season, you could just see these negative behaviors show up in every area of his life. And I go, yeah, he does meet the diagnostic criteria, at least based on what we see. This there's a there's a thing he's doing here. At least it feels to me like he's playing a character. He he's yeah. he is he is. There's a narrative in his mind about who he is and the brand that he has and how he's going to show up that. Like that, like, right when he said, there's nothing that scares me more than poverty. And he was like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> he's like, yeah, that was a one line. And that's going to, you can see he's like, I, I feel like he's trying to come across as confident and knowledgeable, right? Everybody else is expressing a negative, you know, um, hurt and pain. And he's expressing, you know, these women I have to deal with, mm -hmm. you know? I always... I always thought that eventually Christine would open herself up to me. What are you laughing at? She just has this look of that she's going to vomit. Like, <laughs> oh, it's like. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. How can you be sad, Robin, of a relationship that you, like, didn't really have? You know what I mean? It's a good like, point. It's like, yeah. it, it, it's almost like she, um was outside of reality like like you know it's interesting and like yeah. not really paying attention to how other people feel like a, a weird another narcissist i don't know if two can be married to each other but like i don't i mean i don't know that i would say that she's an i don't i just don't know enough about her but i would say that she if i had to get if i had to guess i think that robin my guess would be that Robin has not historically been a super social person. I don't know that Robin is uh, socially adept or uh, naturally likable. I mean, think about it. When people watch the show, you instantly dislike Robin, right? Like that, whatever the vibe, whatever she's doing interpersonally that creates that feeling in, in the audience, she's doing all the time. And so I think that she's not a super socially adept person i think so i wonder if in her mind the family is is like i wonder if she tells herself this is a healthy family and this is what uh social or interpersonal connection feels like and this is what it is to be a wife and i wonder like i wonder if she's creating that because she doesn't naturally hasn't naturally done that well earlier on in her life you know what i mean and so then christine leaves and she's going but we we're close and christine's like what are you talking? We weren't close. Mm -hmm. But in Robin's world, like that was the narrative she was telling herself. You know, when we were older, sitting there with our grandkids and just getting that sisterhood that we saw some of these older women in our church have. Mm -hmm. Do and you feel like Christine robbed you of that? Yes, she took it away. She took that away. But Robin, like you can't have that unless it, it, like, it's something that grows with time. It just doesn't happen when all of a sudden you guys are old. <laughs> yeah, and you have to put effort into it. 
I, I can imagine that the argument can be made that Christine hasn't put effort into it, but neither has Robin. Like, who are we kidding? Right? Robin yeah. can talk all she wants about how her much dreams. she, her dreams, but what did you do to actualize that? You know? She actually said the one thing that she wished you knew was that she wanted you to let her in. I thought that I did. Is it, do you think it's true that Christine hasn't let Robin in or didn't let Robin in? How can you, like, honestly put yourself in Christine's shoes? Your husband's with another woman and you're supposed to be best friends with her. And, like, you feel like the whole downfall of your marriage is because of that, like, probably because of that other relationship. Yeah. yeah. I'd be like, no, F that. Biatch. Okay, but so if that's, but we have to, <laughs> but we have to. We have to be fair, though. If that's the case, then that is, if that's the case, then Christine didn't let her in. There's a good reason for it. I understand psychologically why she didn't, but then, yeah, then that is, then that would fall on Christine I don't, partially, I at think, least. I think so, yeah. Right? I mean, Robin, I mean mostly Cody for not yes. making everyone feel loved enough. Yes, Cody's the, Cody's the problem. I, I think Cody's the problem. I do think that Robin manipulated and I think Cody, that that Christine probably felt jealous and iced her out, maybe. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with that? Because I'm, I'm going to be the head of the family. I've got two wives. I have to take care of it. I have a very big picture. Will you understand that? Will you help me with it? And they're like, yeah, yeah, me, pick me, pick me. I mean, literally. And I'm like, okay, they're compliant. We can make this family situation. Why does he make them sound like dogs? I got a lot of thoughts about that. What do you have any? What's your reaction to that? Pick me, pick me. I'm so great, so great. It really, yeah, it not sit well. And I don't like that. Also, what I think is funny is like I want to know more about like this Mary thing because no one gets along with Mary except Robin. Like Janelle, I don't even. I don't even think Mary gets along with Robin. Oh, really? I mean, I don't know, but I don't think so. I think that they're the last two standing, and I think that's, in my mind, in my mind. Mary has always looked miserable to me. Is, even when you used to watch the show 10 years ago, she looked miserable to mm -hmm. me. So I, I don't know really what's going on with Mary. My sense is that Christine can't trust her because Mary had that catfishing affair. That's my guess is what they're talking about. You think? Well, Christine said it's because she's mean to her. Puts her down in public. Oh, she did. Was that, you think that was, that was uh, not related to the catfishing? You think you're saying in general she does that? Oh. Uh, I think the catfishing is understandable for Mary because she just, like, did not have any relationship with anybody, her sister wives or, like, she was lonely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, let's talk about the dog thing. What do we think about the dog thing? It's so offensive. It's super offensive. I don't even don't know where to start. I think it's ironic that the guy that looks like a poodle is doing the is doing the, is doing the dog move, right? But it does tell you how he sees things. He feels. First of all, when they were like puppy dogs, and they they said "pick me, pick me, pick me," when they were in that mode, he liked it. Like that's the, that is the hierarchy. That's the dynamic. That's what he wanted when he thought of his family. When they were saying, pick me, he was like, yes, I'll pick you because of the hierarchy. So that is a, that is, and I think that that happened, and I can imagine in this kind of household especially, but I do think that happens in a lot of households where you have a couple that gets together and you grow at different paces. And I feel like he has not evolved at all. And these three women, all, all four women, I think have grown and evolved a lot. You know what I mean? And so... They're not wanting to just be puppy dogs that he gets to direct around the household. I absolutely do. So in a way, you do subscribe to patriarchy. Yeah. And but I also, I'm a strong, independent woman, and I can do whatever I want. Like, are you going to, you know, support me in that as well? But do those two fit in the same puzzle? Maybe it's looking like they're not. Hold on, but can you answer that question? Can you be a strong, independent woman and also uh, buy into the patriarchy? 
of the man being the head of the household. I, well, I, I was just like trying to figure it out. I was like, so does that mean like if you're the head of the household and you say something that like I think is asinine, I have to go along with it because. So I don't think so. Yeah, and that's like that's like what I wanted to talk about. I don't think that the way that they're using those two terms is necessarily. I'm not sure that I would use the, those. I, I wouldn't describe it the same way. I think you can be. I think you can have someone. I think you can view the man as the head of the household, uh, and also be be an independent woman. Be, be, but that, but the man at the head of the household has to be willing to allow you to be a strong, independent woman. You know what I mean? I, I think. I think it's. I think it's unfair to say that you that you have to view each other as that there can't be any hierarchy in the household. I think there's a lot of households there is a hierarchy, and it can be a very healthy relationship. And both parties can be strong and independent and all of that. What Cody's doing here with the patriarchy is not saying, I want you to think on your own and I, and I trust you and I want to make decisions with you and I value your, your perspective. Cody's saying, I want, I want this to be command and control and you're the puppy dog. I don't think that you can be in a command and control, you're the puppy dog relationship and be a strong, independent woman. But I think that there are a lot of hierarchical households where women... Can still be independent women. Mm -hmm. It wasn't what it was. It was that I, I was no longer angry with her for what I had gone through in my life with her. I was willing to see the error of my ways and then work to determine whether we were good with each other anymore. Wow. And so my other three best friends, I expressed that, ah, baby, it's okay. Mary and I can work it out maybe. You know, I mean, like I'm going like that with these three women and it just rattles Christine. And what would you do if I just kissed you right now? He was physically aboard and he was backing up. He's like, I can't do that. It makes me feel good that he was considering it, but it didn't last through the evening. So it wasn't true. I guess like he, what he was what he was doing over there was all for show. The cry, the, the 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 fake crying. <laughs> yeah, like why do you stick out your tongue to cry? Number one, but like the whole thing is so fake mm -hmm. to make Christine look bad. It's like it's crazy. Can we? He's can like we trying go, to save go, face. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go back. Let me go back just a little bit here. Wow. And so my other three best friends, I expressed that, ah, baby, it's okay. Mary and I can work it out maybe. You know, I mean, like I'm going like that with these. It's so over the top. It's a, I think it's a character. He's just playing a character. What is the tongue sticking out? What is that? I think that's, I think he's trying to distract himself from crying, to stop crying. Because he was so lost in the emotional moment there that he wanted to tear up. He didn't even have glasses. I know eyes. it's the same thing like Robin. I think there's. I really think like I'm just trying to figure out like what's going. What is the, what's the what's the driver for this, right? But he tells this story, and the punchline is Christine lost her shit as a consequence of me being so excited to reconnect with Mary. Mm -hmm. But then you see the video where he says. I'm not coming, that was the same day, right? Mary says the same day. So this, I mean, it, let's just say that Cody was telling the truth. He was feeling that way. He was interested for, what, an hour? No, like five seconds. Then they got in yeah, the car. Yeah, I don't believe it for a second. And I think it is. This is all his, he's trying to craft a narrative where Christine's in the wrong. Yeah. He's really bothering me. Are you, are you tired? I'm so tired. This is way past my bedtime. Well, I want you to know that you look really good in that hoodie. Oh my gosh, I love it so soft. What is that? Is did you get that from? Is that one of the Pop Psych merch hoodies? In fact, it is. Oh my god, where did you get possibly get that? Those my are in high sweet, demand. My sweet husband got it. Those are in high demand. I want the Don't Robin's Plain one. Gross. What'd you think? Can I tell you that, like, as he's aged, he's just becoming like. Looking at him is hard to look at. What? He's, he's so angry all the time. He's like, he looks angry. He looks like he has, like, on his upper lip. You know, and people, there are people have theorized online that he's on steroids. 
He does look buffer. He's thinner, right? He looks more shredded. Mm-hmm. He used to be a little bit pudgy. And he's... I never remember him pudgy, was he? Yeah. Every, well, everyone got bit, pudgy during COVID. I think he had more of a dad bod earlier on. Oh. But he looked... Like, he. I think he looks... I mean, the hair... I can't figure out the hairstyle. But, but he... I, th- I think he has slimmed up, but I think he also looks... I think he's angry. They, uh, yeah, he looks... He looks angry, and angry. To me. He looks angry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Next week, two more. What, did you like that episode? What would you think? Um, come see, come saw. Yeah, I give it a B. <laughs> I thought, yeah. I'm wait- I think they're waiting for... They're, they're, they're leaving the real... Uh, I want to talk more to Janelle. Later. Yeah. I feel like Christine's going to be fired up next episode, so I'm excited about that one. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Thanks, everyone.